Every year, persons travel from all over the world to enjoy a reggae some fest experience. Others simply stay away from the excitement, enjoying it from a distance. <laughs> Now, our first guest today, he has been a part of the journey, providing nightly highlights package to you, our viewers, as it unfolds. I speak of no other than Mr. Winford Williams on stage. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> how, how was that? Uh, that was good. That was good. Uh, you, you, you get a nine out of, out of ten for that. <laughs> awesome. But let's talk Reggae Sum Fest. Since the first staging, you have never missed a staging of Reggae Sum Fest, Winford. Right. Really? Right. What What does Sum Fest mean to you? Oh, it's a it's a it's a, a very very important platform for um, exp not only exposing uh, the best of Jamaica, but also bringing to yeah. Jamaica the best of the hip hop and mm -hmm. R and B world. So. Um, it, it's it's where um, a, an artist, a Jamaican artist, um, is presented at the mm -hmm. at the highest level of production in terms right. aesthetically and technically. And how long have you been providing television coverage? Well, it would be it would be eighteen years. Eighteen years. I missed the very first year of the festival. Mm -hmm. I was actually at Sunsplash that year. Okay. You know, and um, uh, I've been covering Sunfest since '94. Um, awesome. And it's every year. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a huge um, physical and mental cha challenge for us, and we have to prepare mentally and physically for it. And I think one of my favorite program that you did was the 15 in 15, where you look at the history of Reggae Sumfest. Mm -hmm. D would you say you develop a greater affinity to Reggae Sumfest after that project? Oh yes. Well, there's 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 always been an an, an a affinity song. for <laughs> for Sumfest. Um, yes, because you you get to relive in doing that piece, mm -hmm. that 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 series. Um, you get to re relive those the best moments of some fest over the 15 years you know what say no more we're gonna go right into it and have a look at 15 and 15 right now Reggae Sunfest was born in 1993 when Reggae Sunsplash pulled out of Montego Bay for Kingston after 16 years in the second city. I was one of the persons who pleaded with the Sunsplash people not to leave and assisted them in finding alternate accommodation. But they took the decision at the time, nothing is going to stop them from leaving. Sunsplash had been an essential economic activity for Montego Bay and the national tourism product. Its departure to Kingston left a void Montegonians could not ignore. And so a group of businessmen got together to give birth to Jamaica's second music festival. Reggae Sunfest. A lot of hard work there went into that project to make it a success. Team effort is what it is. But you know, another key person to any television production is the videographer. And let me tell you something. Winford, no move an inch without him. Cameraman, or name Spoggo. We call him Spoggo, affectionately Spoggo. But his real name is Rupert Campbell in the building. What's up, Rupi? there. But let's talk about what Sumfest means to you. You know, we just heard from Winford. What does that mean to Rupert? Well, seriously, if Sunfest is is a, um, a very important thing that happened every year in Jamaica. It showcased the best of Jamaica and bring forth the best of the world to Jamaica. And for me personally, it's just another challenge mm -hmm. to be out there and televise, bring forth that <coughs> look to of people's not able to be there, so to speak. Right. So it's, it's, it's a challenge. And you mentioned challenge, which, which means a lot of hard work. Do you think oh, persons understand the role a cameraman, a videographer <laughs> plays in bringing Reggae Sumfest to their television screen? I don't think so, no. Seriously, because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of um, dedication. It's just a lot of, you, you just keep going. Mm -hmm. And being at a festival like Sunfest, to capture the moment, you're, not, you're there, but not there to absorb and enjoy. It's to there for the people who's not there mm -hmm. to, to bring forward in your own vision to the public. What, who would you say is the hardest artist Elephant. for you to shoot? <laughs> Not to a girl, that Ellie. Ellie is unpredictable. Yeah. 
total unpredictable. Lot of work. You no for no for well, the money. You, no, you're shooting on stage and you grab your cameraman, push <laughs> up all the stage. You got kind of crazy. <laughs> Ellie, 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 Ellie crazy. Ellie crazy. Yeah. But but at Sunfest, one of one of the moments for Ellie for me is um, that when he brought um, Chris Brown onto Usher set, mm -hmm. it was very unpredictable and it was a, a thing for the world, world, so to speak, at Sunfest. Right. So it was good. Normally, Lady Saw would use cameramen as her props on stage. <laughs> You've never been so privileged, Rupert. No, His brother, fire. No, 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 no. I'm shy. I'm that, very shy. That particular <laughs> moment at some fest, and I think we have it, mm -hmm. um, uh, was, was his brother, yeah. Fire. Um, Rup um, Marvin Campbell, right. a.k.a. Fire. Yeah, man. And he was far more popular. In fact, some people believe that this, <laughs> he's Fire. He's not. <laughs> fire migrated. Well, I'm sure you want to know who Fire is. So right now, we're going to roll that tape, that clip with Lady Saw. Reggae some fest. Check it out. Hold on, the man. Hold on, play low. You know you have too much load. So you hold on, the baby. The boy never knew I saw me, but you know. The cameraman was, he was fine. <laughs> <laughs> I was the one who went over there and attacked the man. <laughs> Share some of your favorite moments on, on Reggae Sumfest. What, what would you say? Oh gosh, it right? would be easier, it would be easier <laughs> to give you a tape. Um, that, that moment with, with, uh, with, with Fire and Lady Saw was a special one. Right. And there's so many, so many moments. Mm -hmm. yeah. A big one that just, um, I mean, some artists um, gave me personally several great moments. Bojo Banton and Barry Salmond. Uh, Bujo Banton, many occasions. Beres, Beres Hammond and Bujo together, many occasions. Beres Hammond by himself, many occasions. Right. But a big outstanding moment though is, is, is Lionel Richie's appearance yeah. at Sunfest in Jamaica for the first time. Big time. Of, after 18 years of Jamaica calling, calling him. Lionel, Lionel appeared at Sunfest. Those were, those were knockout moments for me. Anything from Dance All Night? Oh, Dance All Night, ooh, bounty, <laughs> bounty killer's Love entrance. Mercy. Oh my God. You know, killer making his entrance on stage, yes. um, being him moments, devastating the place that year when he came with uh, a choir. You know, it, there are tons of great, great Dance All moments. I mean, Dance All Night, Caperton, mm -hmm. when he was on fire, when, when, when the fireman's moment, at dance all night, the whole place would be transformed. How and important is capturing the grand entrance as a cameraman when, when I reggae something? It is the moment. Mm -hmm. Critical. You, it's, it's the moment. If you miss that moment, you miss actually the performance of the, 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 the star mm -hmm. that comes on on stage. Mm -hmm. But that moment tells you what's going to happen. Thank you so much for sharing with us. We would love to have you back again. Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> I'm gonna be